Hello guys, in this I'm going to show you on how to create organization unit, users accounts and security group in Active Directory in Windows Server 2019. So uh, this we are going to show on how to create OU user accounts and group. So I'll be using this server. So uh, to create, you just access the uh, Active Directory. So to access, you go on the server manager. Then click on Tools. Then click on Active Directory Users and Computers. So here you're going to see your domain. So expand. So you're going to see, you can click on users. You're going to see it's only one user in this, uh, this active directory. So uh, the first thing we are going to start on creating the OU, the organization unit. The organization unit is just to group uh, how you're going, for example, you have different uh, you have different branches let's say you have a branch let, let's say like uh, let's create one uh, let's create to create an organization unit you click on this then right click then click new then you select organization unit so for this you name let's say you yeah, for have another branch keep on so I select this if you don't you not allow for uh, for accidental deletion okay so this is an organization unit you can create another organization unit from from this domain organization unit. So to create also, right click on it, then new, then organization unit. So let's say you are creating for IT department for the Keton. Okay, you have created. So that's how to create an organization unit. For example, you want to add a user in this OU, you want to create a users uh, the the users under IT department you right click on the this organization unit then you click new then you select user so here you create you give the name of the user so if the user uh, you can you can select the last name so and then you give the the account name, the user logo name, that user. So this is the one, then you click next. So uh, here you're going to create the password of the user. So here, uh, by default, it will be selected, the user must change password at the next login. So if you want uh, your user to be able to change, the password will be able to select on this. When a user try to access the account, if user can, if you want the user to not change the password, the user to use the password that you have specified, you select this. And this is where you want the password not expire. You set the password, then you set to not expire. So account is disabled when you want to disable that user. For example, the user has moved out from the the, the user is not is no longer in the company, so you'll have to 
disable that account so that they use so that the account cannot be used so uh, here we just select that one right next then click finish so we have successfully created one user so uh the second thing we are going to see on how to create a group security groups so uh to create a group for example you want to create a group in this ou the it department so uh here you just right click on the it department then you click on i mean it then click on new then you select group so uh this group you want to be the example the developers So here you just the group scope and group type just uh, not leave it uh, as the default so then you click OK. So we have successfully created one group for developers. So uh, let's say that you want to add a user into this group. There's two ways to add. You can the first way you can use you can you can use the user account to be able to log in to, to add these users to this group or you can add the user yeah from the from the group so uh let's let's say that you want to add user this user by clicking on the user account so uh on this you right click then you'll be able to add to a group then you're able to search the group so search the group you can uh, for example you can type then you check make sure it is then you click add so we have successful add this user to this group so let's say that uh, you want uh, uh, let's let's add let's use the another method for using this uh, adding user from the group so uh, for demonstration let's add another user let's create another user password So you can use group you click on the group then you right click then you select properties so here on the properties you'll be able to see the members under the members you'll be able to see the members that are currently exist in this group so we see we have user one so uh, when you want to wanna to add another user you click on add so you search user two so this uh, check names just help you to search the user. For example, you just type uh, the name, then you want you want to search. Okay. Then click apply. So you have successful add the second user to this group. So uh, another thing, let's say you want to add this group to another group. There are a default group that exist. Let's click on users. These are the default group that exist that have have various uh, roles. For example, this group policy creator owners. Members in this group can modify group policy for the domain. So, for example, uh, you can add you can add this group to this the, the newly created group to this group. So, by adding that, you just click on if you want to add that, then you click on that group. Then you click on add group. Then we check this. Then okay. So we have successful add 
that group to this one. 